My name's Mark Wells, and I'm going to talk a little bit about F, a group of FES flower essences today. Uh, five flower essences uh, that I've used for many years in private practice for fears, uh, but particularly to, to help develop confidence and inner security in people. So the first one I'd like to talk about is garlic. Now, garlic is used for fairly no, often known fears, something that you're, you're, you is coming up. It might be a performance um, that you're going to do. Uh, it might be a meeting that you're a bit nervous about. Um, yeah, any particular thing where you're thinking that you're anticipating something and you're feeling that anxiety or nervousness and fears around it. Now, garlic's going to help allay those, it helps settle those down. Um, one of the examples I'm going to use it today is for kids going back to school, how we can see it practically, these remedies practically employed. Um, this, for the child that's perhaps, you know, a week or two before they're going back to school, uh, they may be talking more about the school, worrying about it. Um, Mum and Dad sort of detect that there's some nervousness there about going back to school. Perhaps they uh, even articulate that, or they may not. Uh, but garlic's going to help settle those nerves, um, you know, so they can be prepared and ready to, to go back to school. Um, but as I said, any, any particular situation where you're feeling a little bit nervous, uh, butterflies in the stomach, um, all of those things, uh, garlic's just going to take the edge off things. Uh, you'll still get enough stimulus and enough excitement to perform but it'll just ease, ease those nerves so you can perform at your best. Um, and any other niggling fears that you might have, uh, garlic's going to help settle those uh, and you feel stronger within yourself. The next one I'd like to look at is St John's Wort. Um, St John's Wort is a bit different. Um, you know, they're not as obvious, the fears, but the person has the if you like the signs and symptoms of being fearful in a sense that they feel a sense of foreboding. They just feel a bit uneasy in themselves, a bit thin skinned. Um, and they don't know what it is generally, but they're just feeling a little bit ill at ease at the moment. Something's not quite right uh, in themselves. And St. John's wort can help allay that, that nervousness, those little niggling fears or anxiety or apprehension. And as I said, it may not be about anything specific that they could identify, uh, but they're feeling, you know, that those fears within. Uh, one of the ways, and as I said, they often don't know what it is, it can be very much on the subconscious level. And the way that may express itself in the person is that, um, you know, they start to have quite disturbing dreams. Um, if we use the example that we're running through here with the, the child going back to school, um, you, might, you might find that they're having some night terrors a week or two before going back to school. Um, and, you know, that's identifying that something's uh, niggling at them and even though it is on that fairly unconscious level. So St John's Wort is going to ease those um, and the person will feel better, feel stronger in themselves. Um, things, they'll feel more right in themselves. Um, sometimes when people take St John's Wort, they can actually identify what it is that's, that's been um, troubling them uh, or they've been worried about at a deeper level, but not necessarily. But most, most people are after taking it will feel better. Often St John's wort and garlic work very well together, uh, particularly for long-term um, fear issues. Someone that's always had that sort of, in the, you know, it's been a real um, difficult uh, feeling to overcome. Um, the next one I want to talk about is red clover. Red clover is a different type of fear. It's that fear that people feel um, when they're in groups. Um, it's almost like they lose their whole identity to that group. Um, very sensitive to the mood of the group or the mob, if you like. And um, they'll, um, they'll be easily sort of um, lose their sense of self in a group. If we use our little example with a child going back to school, um, they might be come back and you know the atmosphere on the first day back, the kids are louder, there's a lot of nervous energy being expressed and, and that's just going to hit 
these kids um, in the face sort of thing. They will really feel that uh, group mentality and, get, and, and feel uneasy because of it. Red clover is very settling for those type of people. Um, adults or children, uh, helps ground them, help them feel stronger and not lose themselves to the, you know, to the energy and the atmosphere. Another one I'd like to talk about around this um, subject of fears is violet. Um, and we all know the, you know, the signature of the plant is quite obvious. It's one of those plants that just sort of grows in the, you can smell it, but oh, there it is, hidden there. It just doesn't like too much direct sun. You can almost say it's a shy plant and it's been given that name, the shrinking violet. Um, that's, if you've got that type of person or that type of child, um, it's not gonna change that person, personality, but will, it will help them just feel a bit more secure, confident within themselves. It's a quiet self-assurance that the violet can help bring out in that person. So it'll be classically in the example we were looking at, the, the child that's um, going to school, um, they you know grab on to uh, mum or dad's pants or dress, whatever, uh, hide behind them, and um, you know they're they're they sort of shrinking back from the you know joining the crowd and joining the school. They won't, may eventually get there, but this is going to help. Taking violet will help them have confidence uh, to be able to quietly in there have that quiet um, self assurance uh, and speak up when they need to. They they do tend to retreat in crowds or groups. Um, you know, it's a bit hard, it, there is that shyness, there is that reluctance to put themselves forward. So Violet just gives them that little bit of an edge, that little bit of confidence. So, you know, every now and again, they can come up with their wonderful wisdom that these sensitive people do have, uh, the people that respond well to Violet. Um, finally, I'd like to talk about Sunflower. Um, and one that uh, sometimes is not so much linked up with fear, but it, it is about that. It's about overcoming fear. It's about showing courage and the courage to uh, follow your convictions um, and stand up and be counted uh, and say, listen, this is how it is. This is me and this is, how, and this is uh, warts and all, if you like. That's me and, um, and feel the confidence to express that and, and display that. Um, you know, sunflower sometimes can be, you know, taken over by the peer group pressure. They can lose, give over to that um, and fit in, but um, it's, it's, it's not, they're not being true to themselves sometimes. So, you know, they're not going to be bullied. They're not going to be um, uh, swayed from who they really are. And sunflower gives them that power of conviction. Um, you know, one of the, using our example again, the child that perhaps goes to school, pretty good, but well behaved, they do the right thing and they get in, get in amongst this group, this little group and you're, oh, here we go, there. They'll follow the behaviours, some of the negative behaviours and get caught up in that. And in some ways just, you know, sunflower, give them the courage to just, no, stand up, no, I don't approve of that, I don't want to be part of that, this is, this is me. And feel good about that and feel strong that, you know, that's, that's who I am and I'm, you know, I've, I'm proud of who I am and uh, feel that, get that sort of strength, confidence and security back in the person so they can present to the world the real them, um, which is what everyone really appreciates and wants to see. Great thing about, often with the sunflower, people have come back to me and said, um, uh, and this is just an anecdotal thing, they've come back to me and said, um, oh, my back's feeling better. And I think it's just an example of how um, indirectly flower essences, uh, even though they're working more on the emotional and your attitudes and um, the psychological side, it can have a, a, a tremendously important beneficial effect on the physical as well, indirectly. Um, and I'm sure it's something to do with, in the sunflower case of someone just feeling a bit more upright, um, standing up in life for themselves and feeling stronger and um, more secure. Anyway, on that note, thank you very much. Bye.